All right, welcome back to another episode on how to make a hero concept. Today we're talking about how to make a villain and how to make a relatable villain, a villain that people will instantly recognize as a villain, basically an obvious villain. And I think the perfect way to make an obvious villain is make it a CEO of a corrupt corporate corporation that's trying to do something evil. So we have Billard here. Role is hybrid, play style is shooter, and description, CEO. He's the COO, as we can see in his storyline, CEO. CEO, sorry, of IOI, Information Organizational Incorporated. He's a villain. Looking at his abilities, you can see here Registar, a submachine gun type ability, uh, passive distraction, sorry, can't really speak today, can swipe some money by an enemy, which can distract nearby enemies for a few seconds. Basically holds out like a palm of money and the enemies will be distracted by it for a few seconds. Brass Buckle, he has Brass Knuckles, melee attack with his fist, Brass Knuckles. ATM, machine that sprays healing bills into an area, so places down an ATM machine and it sprays nearby allies with bills, healing them. Power Rounds, last 10 rounds of your primary do double damage, so instead of doing 12 damage, 24 damage headshots, it, do, it just does, yeah, instead of doing 6 damage, it does 12 damage, sorry about that. And that does it for a limited time. And the stockbroker places an AI bot that heals the most damaged ally by 100. So you're placing an AI that goes to the near the most damaged ally and heals them by 100. And then his ultimate is bodyguard Bill punches four times a second at the closest opponent. So bodyguard Bill has two sets of brass knuckles on each hand, and punches four times per second at the closest opponent to you. So he's basically your bodyguard, an AI bodyguard. All right. Uh, let's go to the horizontal stack block before I go over his story and how to make a, a classic villain. So let's look at his story in a second, but first let's go to a stat block. He has 200 health. We've already talked about his abilities. Billard is a CEO of the company IOI. Shooter he uses an SMG and shooter themed weapons. His SMG is called a Registar. As you can see, most of these weapons have a money themed because I think the best way to make the most relatable villain is money because money is the root of all evil. We all know this. We've all been told this. We look at his passive distraction. Doesn't do any damage. It's just a distraction. Diversion area attack. It just if you flash some money, your enemies will be stunned if they see that money in your hand. Brass Buckle, melee attack with your hand. So it's going to get the purple melee color because you're striking someone with your brass knuckles on your fist. Another ability, ATM, is a trap because it is a device that you place and it only triggers when allies are nearby and it sprays healing bills. Being healed with money. Power rounds, last 10 rounds of your primary do double damage. Like I said, it doesn't do damage itself, it just empowers your primary, so of course it's a ability we use the gray marker. And then finally, Stockbroker is an AI bot. Now usually we'd give um, AI bots uh, 10 second cooldowns if they do damage, but this one does healing, and it doesn't do a lot of healing. So it's just going to be a quick AI bot that runs to the nearest target. But Bodyguard Bill is an ultimate. He's going to go in the ultimate section, and he is an AI bot that has double brass knuckles, set of brass knuckles, and goes after the closest ally to you, acting as your personal bodyguard. And of course, most humans in this world and in this game have the base health of 200. All right, so let's get back and talk, finish up while talking about his story and how to craft a perfect villain. So of course, I've used the money theme and the CEO theme because money's the root of all evil, and what is what villain is more classic than a corrupt corporate corporate CEO that is trying to establish his brand and take over the world? So let's talk about CEO of IOI, Informa Info or Organizational Incorporated. He's a villain. IOI is similar to IO in Ready Player One. You know that movie where the company controls information in the digital marketplace, flooding the market with ads. That's what they tried to do in Ready Player One. This guy is kind of the same, except he's got even bigger goals. His main goal is to control the entire digital spectrum, including Neo chips in people's brains to fill them with endless ads. Neo chips are similar to those Neuralink chips being, being developed by Elon Musk, 
personally, I hate Elon Musk. I hope he loses all of his money because he is not doing a good job and um, he's kind of a toxic individual in general. But the Neo chips, it's basically like Neuralink, except the Neo chips are not designed by Elon Musk, meaning that they actually work. And they're in people, some people's brains. Not all of people's brains, but some people's brains. This guy wants to fill them with endless ads. Basically, no, no one is allowed to think that much without seeing ads in their brain. So, this guy has, he wants to control the entire online spectrum, online digital market, with his ads. Endless ads, including people's own neochips in their brains. True villain, he's literally just a corrupt CEO just trying to make the world his play place. So I think that's a classic villain. Other classic villains you could do, you could do gunslingers, you could do like a villain that just wants to control the world. I, I have a couple more villains that I've made. I have actually have a lot more villains than I've made, but this is just a classic way to make a villain. And again, as we talked about before, the best way to present a villain or someone that you, someone has questions about when you're, pres when you're presenting your, your hero concept, IOI is similar to IO and Ready Player One. If someone's watched Ready Player One and you tell them this, they'll be like, oh yeah, I remember in that movie that guy was trying to make endless ads and take over the Oasis with his ads. He was a bad guy. This guy's similar to him. Now I can kind of relate that this guy's kind of an evil supervillain. That we got a, that, yeah, it's just a classic uh, supervillain trope. Corrupt, corrupt CEO wants to take over the digital spectrum with ads. We've seen this game before. I've seen the movie. And now you've just made that guy and whoever else has been, who has watched that movie, kind of understand your character's motivations pretty easily. All right, that's going to do it for the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you like, dislike if you don't, subscribe if you like it. I'll see you guys next time. Toodaloo!